Santa may not want to have his coat by the time he reaches the Concho Valley because it is very warm out for this time of the year. Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson. High temperature today, 78 degrees. Closing in on these records, this one set back 1955, a very hot year, especially for Christmas, 87 degrees. And let's check on our friend Santa. He has been a very busy man going from Russia down to Asia, over to Africa, and now finishing up Europe. Last check in London. Population of 8.9 million people. 49 degrees right now. Mostly cloudy conditions. These are the last few stops. Currently working his way over towards Ireland and Iceland. And then he will be crossing the Atlantic, heading towards the U.S. Take a look outside towards the west. Sunset currently taking place 67 degrees. Temperatures steadily lowering, lowering throughout the night. Dry conditions right now. And those winds approaching very pleasant from the southeast at 5 miles per hour. Across our area into the 60s we go. 67 out towards Robert Lee. Down to here in San Angelo. El Dorado and Sonora. Degree higher. Out towards Junction 68. 66 in Mason. Pretty cool out in Coleman at 60 degrees. Western areas, 65 in Ozona, 64 right now in Big Lake. Wind speeds, we have seen these decrease throughout the last few hours, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. A little bit gusty out towards our western areas, 15 miles per hour on average, and we see most of these approaching from the southeast direction. Texas satellite and radar, reason why we are warm? Well, it has to do with this ridge of high pressure that continues to stay right over us. It is slowly moving eastward, though, and just off to our west, a little bit of a prefrontal warming effect with this trough of low pressure, inching ever so closely to the Concho Valley, but that's where most of our cloud cover is coming from, and we'll start to see this fill in throughout the overnight hours. But as this pushes on through over the next couple of days, we're going to be seeing a change in the pattern. Take a look at your future cast for tonight. Preparation for Santa's arrival. That trough of low pressure moves just slightly eastward. Still some cloud cover for our eastern and southeastern counties. Mostly clear conditions for the rest of us. Beautiful for Santa's arrival. And then during the early morning hours, he will move off towards the west coast. For Wednesday, Christmas Day, expect mostly sunny conditions and very warm temperatures once again. Now those clouds will be back, especially for Thursday and into Friday. And it's all in preparation as that trough digs into the Concho Valley. But this Pacific low just off the west coast here, now finally starting to move eastward. And it's going to be following this jet stream right here by Friday night, starting to see that moisture being pulled in from the Gulf of Mexico thanks to that anticyclonic spin on this low pressure system. And then there you have it. On Saturday, best chance for rain throughout the Concho Valley, possibly even more out towards our western counties. We're going to start to see this clear up by Saturday as that system moves eastward. Take a look at your five-day temperature trend. Yes, another day of 77 degrees. It would not surprise me if we even break a temperature record for tomorrow on your Christmas Day, lowering slightly into the 60s. And then on Sunday, back to average, 57 degrees. Evening planner for tonight by 8 p.m., lowering steadily 53 degrees, partly cloudy conditions, starting to clear up throughout the overnight hours in preparation for Santa. Pleasant start at 7 a.m., 42 degrees. Tomorrow is Christmas Day. It will be a warm one. If you do have a bike probably underneath that Christmas tree waiting for you, best day to test run it before those temperatures fall. Very warm conditions, mostly sunny. Looking at that seven-day forecast, that cold front and that Pacific low moves in Friday night, and that's going to increase our rain chances, not only for your Friday night and into Saturday, but throughout your Saturday as well. We will start to see a dry out beginning next week. Get a bonus